Hi, this is a training video on calibration of seat accelerometer together with SV106 and SV111 vibration calibrator. First, we need to start from preparing the calibrator to work. For that, I need to open the lid and take off the protection. Inside the calibrator we have a key that we can use to unlock the protection. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take out screws. One. The middle screw requires different ending on the screwdriver, so I'm using another type of ending to take out the screw. Okay, and this is the protection which you have to use every time you ship the calibrator with a carrier company. So uh, next thing I'm gonna do is to take out the adapter. This is the adapter for another part uh, called SA111 on which we will mount SV38V. This is how I position this adapter and to mount it I can use uh, the screw that I used before so I'll just put this one into the middle to secure its position okay we have three more holes uh, which we can use to further secure the position however for the simple check uh, it is not uh, really necessary because the adapter is already firmly fixed to the uh, shaking table. Next thing I'm gonna do is to use this SA111 uh, adapter. As you can see this is a simple adapter for fixing the accelerometer. Uh, the easiest way to use it is just to mount it like this and then use the screw to tighten it up as you can see it's now stable next part is to connect the accelerometer to the adapter for that we have to use another ending of the screwdriver need to remove the screw from the seat part change the ending back again and use one of the screws in order to mount the seat part on the adapter that's easy <laughs> We can do it like this and for now it's not really necessary to position the accelerometer. We can do it after fixing the screw. And now you can see we have possibility of checking two channels, channel 2 and ch channel 1. Uh, I would start from channel 1 and I am trying to position it uh, vertically and then I tighten up the screw. Now the seat part can be connected to switched off instrument SV106. I connect it and I turn it on. If the seat pad was connected before, then uh, the calibration factor from test memory would be already stored in the instrument. And if we connect uh, the instrument uh, to the seat pad for the first time, uh, the tests will be updated. 
Okay, we can see that uh, instrument requires 60 seconds for warming up. Uh, so you should wait these 60 seconds. Uh, right now I just used escape uh, and next thing I'm gonna do is go to the measurement menu and uh, the second position HAVWBV uh, dosimeter to make sure that uh, the one three uh, channels are set to whole body vibration and the next part is to menu function and calibration and vibration channel 1 because we are going to check channel 1 and the position is system check now having done that I turn on the calibrator and uh, calibrator is leveling the uh, shaking table the correct values uh, for whole body is 1 meter per square second at 16 Hertz uh, so this is uh, in fact default setup of this calibrator and once it's set I press start and you can see it's three diodes flashing uh, orange and soon they become green and this means that calibrator has steady uh, signal generated to on the on the shaking table in case you cannot get uh, green diodes you should position the calibrator on the floor because it may mean that the surface of the uh, table is not really hard enough for uh, stabilizing the signal so going back to the instrument I am in the system check all I do is press start and instrument is performing the uh, calibration measure it shows up uh, calibration check successful C um, equals to minus 14 decibel and in fact this is a correct calibration factor for the whole body uh, accelerometer uh, so we confirm and uh, this is how we checked uh, the uh, proper properly uh, calibrated channel one next is channel two so we have to stop the calibrator and loosen up the screw and just change the orientation of the seat pad to axis 2 then we tighten up the screw again and press start on the calibrator in the same time I go back to the menu channel 2 and system check and as soon as the diodes are green I hope they are soon yes I press start and the instrument is performing the in situ check in accordance with ISO 8041 uh, we expect it to be successful yes indeed it is successful so I just confirm next I press stop on the calibrator because I have to calibrate the channel number 3 which is the z-axis and for that I am loosening up the screw that fixes up the adapter to the shaking table then I secure the screw and on the bottom of the uh, adapter you can see the hole this hole will be used for fixing it in the horizontal position here it goes and again we have to find a way to tighten up the screw here it is and in the instrument menu we go back go to channel number three and the system check we enable the calibrator wait until it is green
OK, it is green now. I press start on U106. And instrument is performing the measurement. And I already can see that the calibration factor is correct and the calibration is successful. I press stop on the calibrator. And that's how we do the in-situ check for 106 instrument.